Okay, so Divine Wrath and Mortal Will. The last two stages have been added. Divine Wrath is stage, uh, is it seven or six? Eight. <laughs> Divine Wrath is stage eight, uh, which I'm going to only assume is versus Zamasu because the last one was versus Vegito Blue, and then the last stage will be versus Trunks. Um, I don't know anything about the stage in terms of mechanics or anything like that. Um, so I think we are just going to go ahead and jump in. I'll bring items just right. in case. Let's do this. Obviously, this one, unlike the red zone, we have infinite tries. So it doesn't really matter too much if it is insanely hard. But we'll see. We also have double future Gohan turn one, which is not ideal, considering he can be bad in slot one sometimes, right? I well, Mainly if you're eating a super straight away. So we'll see. Um, I mean, I'm going to put him in slot one anyway, and we'll see what happens. For science more so than anything else, right? Because he might just immediately eat a super and we'll get to see how much damage he would take, but... <sighs> okay. Takes 100k from normals with 60% damage reduction in slot 1. That's, uh... That's interesting. Obviously, once he attacks, he now has 80% damage reduction and does the, uh... Raises defense on supers. So, he's gonna be uh, perfectly fine after he attacks, but... And then the other future Gohan. My future Gohan's in slot 3. Uh, my future Gohan is 69%. Uh, uh, same with Trunks. I've got one dupe in both of them. I would love to get the second one so we could get that gold slot equipped, but I'm very much in two minds about saving for everything that's coming out after um, the celebration, right? Especially if, because we still don't know how Global is going to handle the sync, right? And catching up to JP. Because One Piece Treasure Cruise did a thing where they just brought out one banner that had every single unit that Global was missing. And if Global does that, then, you know, that's going to be a banner that... Inter for me, as a content creator, right? I want to get every single unit so I can do videos on them and stuff. I would have to pull all of those new units from that banner um, at least once. And then I'm sure there will be... That banner could be an absolute nightmare for some people. Because, like, imagine getting... You know, you pull one of the new units and then you keep getting like a guaranteed featured animation and pulling that same one and not one of the other ones that you don't have yet. That would be, uh, that would be interesting for sure. <laughs> but yeah, we got a much better turn here. Oh, he does hit hard, doesn't he? So we got a better turn here. We got Trunks and Vegeta. Oh, Nine million. Ooh. Trunks and Vegeta have had an absolute comeback. I All the people that were preying on their downfall, I hope those people are uh, reconsidering their, their thoughts and actions. Because one of the things I used to see about them... Now, obviously, I get some of the newer stages with the new red zone and stuff, they definitely can be taking a lot of damage in slot 1 from supers, especially at the start of the turn. But... They're still very, very effective. They've still got decent defense for these difficult events. Their active skill buffs everybody else's defense. And because now it's so much easier to run a full Future Saga setup, you can use it consistently on turn three. But one of the things I used to see people saying about them, who would obviously just be trying to find a reason to complain about them, is even when they were still kind of in their heyday, people would be like, oh yeah, sure, their defense is good in slot one, but look how bad their attack stats are. And it's like... I know we have Future Gohan, who is a 50% support unit, but he's obviously a very realistic choice for this team because he's so good. Um, and then, yeah, turn one, 9 million attack stat. So, I would say that's pretty good, personally, for a unit that also is incredibly good defensively. But... Very, very good, considering that they are over a year old on JP and almost a year old on Global. And I still put them in my top 10 LRs list, so I still think they are very good. It's just the fact, obviously, so many new LRs have come out that are very good. But the fact that they are as old as they are and still pretty much, I feel like, an auto-include if you're building a Future Saga team, right? So very, very uh, much enjoying them coming back. So... Future Gohan going off here. I mean, so far this fight hasn't been that difficult. We haven't used an item yet. Um, I'm not. I'm failing to see. Like, does Zamasu actually even have like a gimmick? Has he done anything? Like, has he like double supered and I didn't notice? Or he hasn't like sealed anyone? Or does he actually have a gimmick of any variety? Or what is he doing? Double digits to Future Gohan. That's what he's doing. He has a lot of HP, but.
But yeah, it doesn't really seem like he's doing anything that interesting. Like, his, his hard-hitting thing is decent. Like, obviously, like, he hits for a, a decent amount, as we saw on the early turns, but if he doesn't have any other sort of interesting mechanics, then, you know, the first couple of turns are the most dangerous ones, and then you start getting built up. Which is honestly kind of disappointing, because that's exactly what the other stages are like. Um, is there a second phase? I actually don't know, so I won't use the active skill straight away, um, just in case there is. I don't think there is. I should. This is why I should check the news, but I like to go into these events completely blind, just because it's more fun, at least the first time. So, so we'll do this, do this, do this. Pretty strong turn here. <laughs> Uh, someone in the chat said no second phase, so that's all right. At this rate, we just get more ch more opportunities to see what everyone else is doing, I guess. But yeah, this guy doesn't have the uh, damage reduction thing that the red zone one has, so even the additional normals will do damage. So, I mean, this one hasn't really been that difficult, which is interesting considering I feel like the previous Samasu one, the AGL one, was more difficult than this, right? So... Sesha's second phase is Fallen Archbishop Andreas. Dude, I can't believe you even remember that name. Shout out to Prof. Shout out to anyone that comes out to the second channel for my streams of games that are not Dokkan. We've been playing Lies of P over there recently, which is the uh, sort of gothic fantasy version of Pinocchio, like Bloodborne Dark Souls game. And it is actually amazing. I'm loving, absolutely loving it, playing it over there on the second channel. Um, make sure you guys come and check out those streams, but... Yeah, I can't believe you remember. That is the, the name of one of the last bosses that we fought on the stream. <laughs> oh, Trugs with the super attack dodge. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I mean, that could have been bad. I don't know how much this Zamasu super attacks for, but... But yeah, I guess that's GG, right? Because we just get the active skill with future Gohan and we win. Hopefully we get we actually kill him and get the KO screen because we uh, do a lot of damage. So we got the links with the future Gohan as well. It actually would be better if future Gohan hadn't transformed the in one because we'd be getting an extra fifty percent support. But yeah, I think he has every link active on this rotation though, doesn't he? Because he shares every link with in future Gohan except legendary power. Which he's getting from the LR, so. Uh, yeah, and then I guess we just do this. Do this. And do this. And then it's GG Zamasu. So, yeah, I feel like this one was easier than the AGL Zamasu that was stage six, right? It's, a, no, it's not just me, surely. I mean, again, like maybe we just got really lucky in the early turns, but like. He didn't really, apart from hitting hard early on, before our unit started to get built up, he didn't really have any, like, interesting mechanics or anything. That 12 million from future Gohan. Woo! GG's. 9 million uh, special beam cannon. Let's go. But yeah, that seemed way easier. Yeah, other people saying it, not just me. Yeah. Seemed a lot easier than the AGL Zamasu one, which is kind of disappointing, but... Because we brought a support memory and it didn't even go off because we didn't lose enough HP, did we? Unless I just didn't see it, but... No. So... Oh no, we did. Okay. Well, there you go. So it wasn't technically a no item run, but it was close enough. Um, yeah, that was very easy. Very surprising how easy that one was in comparison to the AGL one. So... Um, oh, we had special conditions as well that I didn't even look at. <laughs> I forgot when you why when you accept the mission it doesn't come up with what the description was. Uh, oh, with a unit of each type, which we just did by accident. <laughs> well, there you go. Because this is the team I tweeted about yesterday. This is my favourite build of the Future Saga team. I didn't realise that it just so happens to be one unit of every typing. 
<laughs> so there you go. We beat stage eight and we beat the mission for stage eight without knowing what the mission was, which is to be it with a uh, super unit of each typing. So there you go. This one definitely felt easier than the AGL Zamasu. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Let us know what team build you guys used to help each other out with some ideas. Um, and yeah, we'll go on to do the trunks one now. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.